Hello, today I am going to teach you how to export your audio from The Witcher 3. So you can have something like this. Or something like this. Basically, all the audio files from The Witcher 3 can be exported and playbacked basically in any player that supports OGG format, which is pretty damn popular. So if you have a music in the background... Now, to start with, first of all you will have to navigate to your Witcher 3 installation folder. In our case, that is Steam, Common, The Witcher 3. Then you will need to create a folder, which is basically whatever it wants to be named. We'll just name it Sound Extracted. And then you will need a quick BMS and script. The download link will be provided in the description below. Next you will want to create this BMS file. It's basically a script that will run files for you. You will name it quick BMS line 64.bms. The content of course will also be provided in the description. After you have those two things done, next thing simply run .exe. First time this window opens, go to the folder where this was extracted to and run this BMS file. Second time, go to your content and type into search sounds PC. Here are all the audio files or sounds I guess The Witcher 3 is using. This includes conversations, ambient menu, action, music, everything and you want to extract all of these you basically have to click on it then click open and once you do that you also have to select where you want to extract it and in our case as we said before we extracted them to sound extracted now in here you can see you have different sorts of files and uh, these files that end in B and K are essentially background noises, not music, background noises, animal sounds, people chattering, people talking, things like that. In my case that really does not interest me because I'm really interested in music because besides those there were also these VAM files, there was a lot of them and basically I just took all of them out into another folder. Now that they are in this folder, what you'll want to do next is download yet another thing. I know, it's awesome. Uh, the, thing, the download link for these two will also be in the description below. One of these is called ww2ogg022 or at least that's the folder's name. The file is wwo ww20ogg does matter and then the other file is called reworb.exe so the first thing will just have vem files without these ogg files in and uh, you will run the script bat essentially you will make a file inside of this folder named script.bat and you will copy paste this in. If you want to know what this does, basically takes all the files, VAM, and converts them into OGG. VAM is a format that uh, the software for creating these sound files is using. It's a proprietary format. So you need a special kind of, uh, basically imagine it's a key lock and you need a special key to unlock it. And this is what it, what is basically is it's a glorified key and a keyhole and then the reborb actually makes it into OGG 
Now that once that is done, they will be playable, but they will be weird because they won't have like uh, the time. And if we look like at the actual, um, if you look at the tags, they may look a little bit funky. I mean, they look fine now, but before they looked a little bit funky. So what you'll do next, you'll create another script. Basically, just type script to that bat, and into this one. What you will type will also be in the description below. And what these do basically, you'll just run all this again to reverb. And because you'll do that, you will basically make the OGG file, uh, the text will be better and uh, it will be more easily accessible with your uh, device. In my case, that is FUBAR, which is for to play a uh, player that can not only play flag lossless any format known to human mankind it can also convert them and it's awesome and it's open source so you can also customize the looks and basically once you do that you can just simply take all these all these OGG files all right basically we're gonna mark the first OGG file and we're gonna mark the last and then we're just gonna drag and drop it into our foobar which is also gonna take I estimate few years. Oh, it's actually faster. And now it's in. And now let's say we also want to edit the text. We click properties. The width. Width. No. The Witcher 3 Wild Hand Sounds. Well, we put uh, date as 2015 as the release of the game. This is a simple tag editor. It's also really, really convenient. I'm just doing this to show you what uh, I will be doing. I know you're really excited to hear the actual sounds. And once that is done, we can play them. If I increase the volume and now each of these files is basically one random sound from the game it could be as simple as this which is sword drawing or it could be as awesome as this Okay, I picked the worst file. <laughs> oh yeah, it's really quiet. What is that? I have no idea. It sounds like horse walking. Or it could be something like this. And this is the soundtrack you never get from any games. Simply because this is what the soundtrack actually is. Just a bunch of short files in lossy quality all over the place. But this is what makes the game. And that's how you extract your audio files from The Witcher 3. Hope this video helped you. And if it did, well, if you have any more requests, you know where to call.